Hello, kindergartners. Welcome back to music. All right, well, today we are going to um, have so much fun today. Let's first start out with doing this. Oh, wave your arms. You are in charge of the music. What does that make you? You're the leader. Hmm. Somebody leads music. What is that? You're being the leader. You should be thinking conductor because conductors lead music. What about this one? And to write, you're creating your own. What does that make you? Hmm. Somebody writes music. It should be composers. Say composers write music. Very good. Okay, so let's warm up our voice. Get your hands ready. Okay. Woo! Good. Pretend your finger is Mr. Tukey, okay? Okay. Woo, 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 woo. Now try this one. Yeah, all the way down to the floor. That one's funny. Okay, now uh, let's try our new song from last time. So show me your spider beats. It can be on your shoulders or on your legs. All right, this is our new song. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, now skidoo. Oh, that was fun, but I just want to really play the game. The game is so fun. Uh, let's review the song real quick to make sure you remember. My turn and then you copy. Let's stand up and do the motions with it. Okay, my turn, then you copy me. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Your turn, go. My turn. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Your turn. Good, my turn. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Your turn, ready, go. And now the last part, the funnest part. Teddy bear, teddy bear, now skidoo. You gotta run really fast. Your turn. Ready, go. Go ahead. Okay, I'm ready to play the whole game now. Say hello, Mr. Owl. He's gonna be uh, trying to beat you in the race, okay? So you gotta really run super fast to beat Mr. Owl in the race. Are you ready? Okay. Ready to sing? Ready, go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, now skidoo. Oh, run faster. Just a little faster, you gotta beat the Mr. Owl. Stop. Whew, that was a lot of running. Mr. Owl, how do you feel? Oh, that was crazy. Who won this back then? Who won? Oh, okay. Yes, I have to tell you who won the race. Well, that time, Mr. Owl won the race. What? Are you serious, Miss Beckman? Yeah. Okay, who's ready for uh, trying again? You got a rematch. Okay, do you think you could just run a little bit faster? Let's try it. Okay, get ready to sing. Ready, go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, now skidoo. Run faster! You can do it! Keep going! Just a little bit faster! Hurry! Okay, stop! 
Oh, I think Mr. Owl's very tired. Are you okay, Mr. Owl? Yeah, I'm okay. Who won? Okay. Well, that time, Mr. Owl, the student won. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Owl. You can practice your running. That's right. I'm going to practice so that I can beat you next time. Bye-bye now. Everyone say bye, Mr. Owl. He'll be back later. Okay. That was fun. I enjoyed that game. Now, last time we were learning about the families of the instruments. So let's look at that real quick. You guys watched a, a video about Bleaky. She was meeting all these families of instruments. Here is the woodwind. Can you say woodwind? Good. And do you remember why it's called woodwind? What is it made out of? Wood. That's right. Okay. And that's the first part of the word wood. But what about the second part? The second part that says wind. Why does it have wind? What do you have to do to play those instruments? Do you hit it? No, don't hit it. Do you pluck a string? No. What do you have to do? to blow air and make wind. So that's why it's called wood wind. Say it one more time. Wood wind. Perfect. Okay. The next family that Bleaky found was the string family. Can you say string? Good. Now you know some strings are long like this one. Speaking of long, you guys did a good job on your homework. I noticed that a lot of students took a picture of their assignment and put it into the computer. That was so neat. I like seeing all your pictures. So let's pretend we have a string in our hands. Say long. Good. Now let's pretend we have a little short string. Say short. That's good. Okay, we're going to work on long and short more in a little bit. Okay, then Bleaky found the brass family. Did you see the hilarious thing she did with the brass family? She took her hands and she hung on to this part of the instrument and she was sliding up and down. Try that with me. Go up with your voice. Try that. Go up and then do, go down. Try that. Down. She was sliding on the trombone. That was so hilarious. If you didn't get to see the video, you should go watch it because it's so funny. And the last family she found was the percussion family. Um, and that's when you hit an instrument. So even if I took my hand here and hit the table, that is a percussion instrument. Even you could do body percussion. Wow, that's fun. That's percussion because you're hitting it. Okay. So to, for your assignment for ne this week, you're gonna actually be watching a new video. Oh, it's gonna be super fun. You're gonna be watching the video called Tubby the Tuba. I'm gonna put the link in the post and you are gonna get to watch a story. It's a book and there's a person reading it to you, but also you get to hear with your ears, the instruments. Wow, you're gonna hear all the instruments from the instrument families. And this is a story about one person in the uh, family called Tubby. And Tubby, let's look at his color. Does he look like he's made out of wood? No. Does he look like there's a bunch of strings on him? No. What about brass? Does he look like a golden color? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a brass instrument. Does it look like we're supposed to hit Tubby? If you see here, this is the one that is a percussion right here, because you see that that's a drum, right? That's the hitting one. But Tubby is a brass instrument, and you're gonna get to hear his story. It's a really cool story. And then at the end, when you're done, I want you to draw a picture of which instrument you liked the most. You can go back to the video. Oh, look, there's a frog. Don't draw a frog. That's not an instrument. But he does sing, so I guess his voice is an instrument. You can draw which instrument you really liked the most in the video. 
and then you can uh, give uh, take a picture and then you can put it up into the computer to show me that you drew a picture of the instrument, okay? Thank you so much for doing that for Ms. Beckman. Okay, now it's time for us to play another game. Well, here we go. We're coming back to the front now. Let's try that one. Okay, I'll sing it and you try it with your inner voice. That means in your brain. So say. Okay, I'll sing the song and you do. Oliver Twist, you can do this, so never give up on trying. Touch your knees, touch your toes, clap your hands and around you go. Who remembers that song? That one was from a long time ago in kinder. Okay, so let's try it. You sing with me now. Say, uh, Paw Paw Bear. Bear. Mama Bear. That's the voice we want to use, is our Mama Bear voice. So you're going to go, Oliver Twist, ready, go. Oliver Twist. Oh, and I forgot to tell you what we're going to do. Let's tap our shoulders first. Ready, go. Oliver Twist, you can do this, so never give up for trying. Touch your knees, touch your toes, clap your hands, and around you go. That was fun. What else can we do? Let's tap our nose. Are we doing a beat or a rhythm on our nose? Is Miss Beckman changing my pattern, or is it staying the same? It's actually staying the same. So what stays the same in music? That would be a beat. Beat stays the same. Good. And then what about the thing that changes? Rhythm changes. You say it. Say rhythm changes. Okay, so let's keep a beat on our nose and play the game. Ready, go. Oliver Twist, you can do this, so never give up on trying. Touch your knees, touch your toes, clap your hands, and around you go. That was so fun. Let's do another one. Let's do touching, or let's actually bob our head. Keep the beat with your head. Now you can do that while you're singing. That's going to be fun. Ready, go. Oliver Twist, you can do this, so never give up on trying. Touch your knees. Touch your toes, clap your hands, and around you go. Very good. Now it's time for you to make up one. I want you to pick something to do. You want to tap your tummy. You want to tap maybe, um, maybe your head. Maybe you want to move this. Maybe you want to do a Fortnite dance. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's up to you. But whatever you do, you got to do the beat. And the beat stays the same. You got it. I can't wait for you to make up your own pattern. Okay, you think of yours. Think of it now. Okay, so you pick anything. You do it, okay? Miss Beckman's going to pick tapping my tummy because I just ate lunch and it was yummy. All right? You could do anything. You can do what I'm doing or you can pick your own. Ready, go. Oliver Twist, you can do this, so never give up on trying. Touch your knees, touch your toes, clap your hands, and around you go. Wow, I love that game. So now it's time for us to talk about some long and short. Remember, we talked about that last time with the slime and the bubbles. So you do slime with me right now and make the sound with your mouth. Go. Your turn. Let's do bubbles now. Your turn. Well, today we're going to um, look at a different kind of long and short picture. It's the same thing, but it's a new way to look at it. All right, so here on this first picture, we see 
Longs. How many longs are there? Can you show me with your fingers? Count how many there are. Show with your fingers. Did you show four? If so, you got it right. All right, now I want you to take your finger and point to the very first one and we're gonna trace it with our fingers. We're gonna go long, 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 long. Say it with me, point your finger, use your voice, go. Long, 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 long. Perfect. This is actually gonna be how we're first reading rhythms. And what do we know about rhythm? Rhythm changes, say that. Ready, go. Okay, so we got our rhythm. Uh, this is like how we're starting to read rhythms, okay? Let's try this one. It changed a little bit right here, okay? Do you see that? Are those longs? No, it's a short. And is it one short or two shorts? Look at that little picture right there. It's two shorts, okay? So that's gonna be short, short. Can you say that with your finger to, uh, popping two bubbles? Ready, go. Short, short. Now let's try from the beginning. Long, long, short, short, long. Say it and go. Long, long, short, short, long. You should be reading it from left to right like you read a word, okay? Let's try the next one. Okay, let's point to the first one. Think about it. I want you to practice on your own. Ms. Beckman is going to give you time. How's this one going to go? Think about it. Okay, so now let's try it together. Is it a short or a long first? Be a short. Okay, get ready. Ready, go. Short, short, long, short, short, long. Did you get it right? You're so smart. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Ready, go. Short, short, long, short, short, long. That is so amazing, student. You did really good. Okay, let's try now. Oh, wait, let's go back to that one. That actually reminds me of a song we know. Short, short, long, short, short, long. Hmm, what song is that? Oh, I know! Oh, Mr. I don't know. Yes, I know, I know. I know what the song is. I know. Hmm, Mr. Owl knows. What is that song? Oh, he's right. I bet you can get it too. Listen again. Short, short, long, short, short, long. Do, 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 do. What is that song? It's teddy bear. That's right, Mr. L. Good job. So let's point to this pattern one more time and sing teddy bear like this. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Point to it, go. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Wow, you learned that the rhythm for teddy bear is short, short, long. You are so awesome. Good job. Okay, now going to be ready for a little dance break. Oh, this is going to be fun. We are going to be dancing together by using a special instrument. Oh, let me end the little screen and come back to big screen. Very good. Okay, so this is our new instrument. What? I see some interesting things here. I see metal. Wow. And I see a little piece of wood up here, but that's not really making the sound. It's just holding this stuff. This is an instrument from Africa called a thumb piano. Can you say thumb piano? Wow, say thumb piano. What was that first word? Thumb? What's a thumb? Show it to me. That's right, your thumb. Your thumb has to play the piano. Let me see if I can turn and show you. So cool. Okay, so Ms. Beckman is going to play the thumb piano, and it's your turn to dance. I'm going to play a school pattern, and I want you to stand up, and I want you to wiggle, and dance, and have a bunch of fun. Ready, set, go.
Oh, I hope you danced. I hope you had some fun wiggling around. Let's do it one more time. You can dance anywhere you want to. Make sure you're standing up. Ready, go. <laughs> An instrument called the thumb piano. Now, students, we're almost at the end of music class, and I have one more thing to teach you. It's a new song, and it's a special, special song, okay? This song is about something in the sky, up in the sky. Listen to it, and then tell me what you think it's about, okay? Show spider beats while you're listening. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have a wish I wish tonight. What was it about? Something up in the sky? Hmm. What's about a star? Yeah, let's stay up in the sky. Okay, so my turn first, and then you copy me. Show your spider beats. My turn, and then you. Listen first. Starlight, star bright. My turn. First star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might. Have a wish I wish tonight. Now let's do two pieces. I'll do one and two, then you copy. Then I'll do three and four, then you copy. My turn first. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. My turn. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Now we're gonna try the whole song. You gotta try it with your inner voice. Sing. Okay, you move your mouth and I'll sing the whole song. Ready and think. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have a wish I wish tonight. Okay, now we're gonna sing it together. Me and you together. But before we start, oh no, let's just do it, let's do it, sorry. Okay, ready and, oh, sorry, everybody. Let's put some stars in our fingers. Let's do star beats, just little stars. Let's sing it together. Ready, go, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight, wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Now we get to do my favorite part. I forgot to tell you that this is a special song where you can make a wish. Okay, does anyone think of a wish? Maybe you're wishing for a new puppy. Maybe you're wishing for spaghetti for dinner. Maybe you're wishing for a special surprise. Okay, this is your wish. It could be anything. Now hold your wish like this. I want you to put your hand up like this and when you have your wish. You got it. Now let's sing the song and think of your wish. Ready, go. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Now take your wish, give it a kiss, and blow it away. I hope your wish comes true. And I hope my wish is that you have fun with this music class and that you um, listen to Tubby the Tuba and then draw a picture of your favorite instrument and then take a picture of it and send it to Ms. Beckman through the website of Google Classroom. Okay, students, bye-bye. I'll see you next time.